this movement to add sexual orientation had had the attempts had been started years and years before. It's that now they had a story that put a face to the crime of hate crimes against sexual orientation. And it was a story that seemed to resonate with a lot of people. And the fact that it now was the first piece of federal legislation that actually codified sexual orientation, gender identity, uh, was pretty amazing. The good was it was finally being signed into law. And the sad thing was it had to be sort of tucked away on the back page of a defense appropriation bill. It's like, why can we not just do this as a standalone bill? And it was like, oh no, we can't do that. It'll never pass, it'll never work. Okay, well then let's just get it done. The hate crime bill isn't quite, the law itself isn't quite as good as it should be. It doesn't require reporting and it should. Um, because we don't, when we hear large cities saying, oh, we don't have any hate crimes, it's like, really, you don't? Or are you just not telling us? So we're just trying to work with law enforcement agencies and other entities to convince them they really need to do this and to educate them on why they need to do this.